Salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Rabbish rahli sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in inshallah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, uh, uh, a sheet for Laisa has been given to you. These are the verses from the Quran. Inshallah, you will try to figure out uh, the sentence, the conception of it, and you will uh, figure out the ism Laisa. Where is ism Laisa and where is khabar Laisa? Okay? Now, Laysa usually enters Jumla Ismiya. Ana Talibun. Ana Lastu Bi Talibin. See, it entered Jumla Ismiya. But when you say Lastu Bi Talibin, that is a Jumla failure. That will come in Book 3. You know, because Laysa is a verb. As in the verb, brother and sister, the file always comes afterwards. Are you with me? File always comes afterwards. Remember I told you the sequence of verbal sentence? What is normal sequence of verbal sentence, brother? Sequence of verbal sentence. First is the fiel and then it is file. And then it will be maf'oolun bi'i. Maf'oolun bi'i. Fa'ilun 
Fi Allah. Are you with me, brother? If I say Hamidun Zahaba Ila al Masjidi. What is Hamidun? Mubtada. Huh? Because now it is Jumla Ismiya. Where is the verb? Zahaba. Where is the file for Zahaba? It is Mustatir. If you say Hamid is the file, that will be wrong. Because fiel, then file will come. Are you with me? So Zahaba, where is the file for Zahaba? It is Mustatir, hidden. Taqdeeruhu huwa. Now that huwa will go back to Hamid. Huh? Okay, we will learn Taqdeeru uh, huwa. Yadullu ala Hamid. It returns to or it points out to, or it indicates to, Hamid. Are you with me? Now if I say, Zahaba Hamidun Ilal Masjidi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Zahaba Hamidun Ilal Masjidi. Now, where is the file of Zahaba? Now it is Hamid. This was Jumla Ismiya. The Khabar was Jumla Failure. And this is purely Jumla Failure. Please keep that in mind. Huh? Similarly, Laisa. When you have a Laisa, the Ism Laisa will come afterwards. Huh? It will come afterwards. If I say, Ana Lastu B Mudari Sin. So Ana, what is Ana, brothers and sisters? Then we have Lastu. There is a Fiel Laisa, in it? Okay. And where is the Ismu Laisa? Tu. Huh? Are you with me? So if I write something very similar like this, Hamidun Laisa B Mudarrisin. Okay, brother and sister? Hamidun Laisa B Mudarrisin. What is the translation? Hamid is not a teacher. What is Hamid? Muftada. Where is the khabar? The jumla failure. So Laisa is a fiel. Fielun, nakisun, jamidun. Huh? Okay, where is Ismu Laisa? Mustatir. Huh? It is Mustatir. You cannot say Hamid is Ismu Laisa. Huh? Ismu Laisa is Mustatir. Because it has to come afterwards. Okay? And then be mudarisin is the khabar. Now if I say Laisa Hamidun be mudari sin. Now now this is Jumla Ismiya. Sahi? Started with Hamid. What is this? Jumla failure. This is Jumla failure. So Laisa is a failun, nakisun, jamidun. Okay. Where is Ismu Laisa? Now it is Hamidun. It will always come afterwards. Keep that in mind. Because there is a tendency for us to take Muftada as a file or ism. Huh? Inshallah. Keep this in mind. A very important rule, brothers and sisters. Now, <coughs> We want to finish this lesson, and I was talking to you about the handout. Look at it, brother, carefully. Read it slowly, slowly, and then figure out where is the Ismu Laisa, and where is the Khabar Laisa. It will make you strong, and you will enjoy doing that, inshallah. Success does not come cheap. For success, one has to pay a very high price. 
The only price for success, brothers and sisters, it will not cost you money. It will only cost you time. Huh? Price for success is hard work. Inshallah, we'll do the hard work. And Allah will bless us, inshallah, with the knowledge of His book, inshallah. inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to introduce to you Mudharia. So as soon as we finish this lesson, we will spend some time in learning about the Fialun Mudharia, inshallah. Let us go on page 17 in the old book. Hmm? Exercise number 8. Ikra al Mithala. Umma adhil in al al jumlal atiyati. Very, very easy, brother. Li thalasu akhawatin. Now let us see whether we understand this. Uh, brother, what is li? How many words are there? Two, Two words. Uh, jar wa majru. Are you with me? Fine. So this is Shubhu Jumla Khabar. Uh, where is our Muftada Badar Abdul Samad? Salasu. Got the idea? Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafili. Now, remember, inna will only make the Muftada into mansub, and then that will become ismu inna. No longer Muftada. So if you put in, what will happen? Li thalasa. That is very easy, brother. Khalas. Huh? That's all we have to figure out. So as long as you are strong in muftada and khabar, the inna and akhwa to inna, they are all halwa puri, brother. Huh? They are all very easy. Okay? Okay, fine. It is, Dr. Abdurrahim has explained, Asluhu salasu akhwatin li, but that's not the way we say it. Huh? And inna salasa akhwatin li, also that's not the way we say it. We say inna li salasa akhwatin or li salasu akhwatin. Fine? Now we have here sentences, brothers and sisters. We will start with brothers. Brother Muhammad. Number one, fil fasli khamsatu talibin jududin. Put in there, brother and sister. Inna. Inna fil fasli, mashallah. Khamsatu. What will happen to khamsatu? Khamsata. That's all. Inna made khamsatu into khamsata. Why? Because khamsata is our ismu inna. Got the idea? It's very easy. So you will say, if you were to analyze it, brothers and sisters, you will say, Inna harfu tawkid wa nasbin fil fasli jar majrur shibu jumla khabar inna. What will you say? Khabar inna. Remember, inna has come. And then khamsata ismu inna mansubun wa huwa mudaf. And then Talibin, Tullabin, Khamsatu Tullabin, Mudaf Ilehi. And what will be Jududin? Naat. Khalas. Easy, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah. Brother Hassan. Inna Lana Mudarisan Jadida. Ah, Masha Inna Lana Mudarisan Jaydan. Jaydan. Good. Excellent. Huh? MashaAllah. So, brothers and sisters, what will be our answer? Inna lana mudarisan. Huh? This is our ismu inna. And jaidun was a naat. Now, naat for mudarisun. Now it is mudarisan. So, jaidun will become jaidan. Because naat has to follow the manut. Good. Excellent. We have a good teacher, Jaidan. Very good, Brother Hassan. That was excellent. Now, Brother Abdul Samad. MashaAllah. Excellent, excellent. See, now we get the idea. 
انا في جيبي ميعتا ريال اي هاف ترولي اي هاف ان ماي pocket 100 riyals okay so fi jaibi how many words are there three words so fi arjar jaibi ism majrur wa huwa mudaf and then ya mutakallim mudaf ilai so what is fi jaibi jar majrur shibu jumla khabar inna where is ismu inna miata wa huwa mudaf and then riyal in mudaf ilai now this practice that we are doing brother will have only one consequences and that is you will become excellent in your analysis in your understanding uh, brothers and sisters it will help you to understand quran in a very nice way brother where you will always be able to make a simple translation with ease inshallah inna lana mudarrisan jayidan So, brother, lana. How many words are there? Two. Jar majrur. Huh? So, lana jar majrur. Shibu jumla khabar. Inna and mudarisan will be ismu inna. Sahi? Inshallah. Now, brother Salman. Kathira tan. Huh? Because it has to match. But the anharan, anharan is plural, and kasiratan is singular. Why? Kulu jama manas. We always have to remember that. Huh? Okay. So, brother uh, Salman, that was good. Fil Hindi, inna fil Hindi, inna harfu taukid wa nasbin fil Hindi jar majrur shibu jumla khabar inna, and then brother anharan ismu inna. Kasiratan Nath. Very good, Mashallah. Brother Sayyid. Mashallah, Mashallah. Excellent. Inna Laka. Inna, same thing. Harfu Taqid wa Nasb. Laka, how many words are there? Two. Char Majur. Shibu Jumla Khabar Inna. And where is our Ismu Inna? Barkiya Tan. Barkiya Tan. Barkiyatan and fi maktab bil barid, of course, fi harf char, maktabi isam majroor, wa huwa mudaf, and al barid, mudaf ilahi. MashaAllah. Telegram. 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 Brother Salim. No. Mashallah, you said it. You, your sentence was correct. In nali alfa dolarin fil masrifi, masrifi bank. Masrifun is the bank. Masrifun bank. Huh, brother? This is the uh, Arabic for bank. You have to remember, brother. Arabic is so rich. It does not have to borrow words from outside. It has the, it has the kuwa, the strength and the wealth of words that it can create its own word. We don't have to say bank. We have to say masrif, and we are going to learn in book three how these nouns are made. For example, hatif. Telephone is hatif, not telephone. Huh? Te- television is still fast, and how were these nouns derived? It's all we are going to learn in book three, inshallah. You will find it very interesting, inshallah. So inna li li, how many words? Two. Char majur shibu jumla khabar. So inna arfu taqid wa nasbin li char majur shibu jumla khabar inna. And where is our ismo inna? Alpha, alpha. Huh? Wahua mudaf dolarin mudaf ilahi fil masrafi char majur. ما شاء الله. الكلمة الجديدة لقاء ها أنا مسرور بلقائك. I'm happy to meet you. Nice sentence. You must memorize it and use it, brother. I also request you when you meet, ask each other every single day. كيف حالك؟ كيف حالك؟ 
and then reply properly and always say alhamdulillah okay also say masmuka masmuha masmuhu so that you know you can uh, feel comfortable in answering when we don't practice brother even though you are in book 3 even though you can analyze everything and you can understand and was once you are asked masmuka you get stuck your your tongue gets knotted you just cannot say it's me it doesn't come in, instantly it takes time so if you try with uh, among yourself brothers and sisters you will see that slowly slowly it is very easy for you to say sentences in arabic huh? so and once we are learning mudariya you can even use these sentences hal zahabti ila al masjid al yawm naam zahabtu mata zahabti ha mata rajati you know answer these things and you will become little uh, fluent ha we in urdu we say zaban zaban mein rawani aayegi zaban mein rawani aayegi it will become smooth and you will be able to say without difficulty inshallah likaun meeting jayidun good jaybun brother that that's not a urdu word it's an arabic word pocket because you say jayb in urdu nahrun so river anharun barqiyatun and now this is an obsolete word now huh you have no more telegrams huh huh but this was written this was written 40 years ago brother masrifun masarifu see masarifu what kind of a wazan is this mafail always remember masajid huh for simplicity maktabul baridi maktabul baridi mudaf mudaf li okay post office okay brothers and sisters now i want to start mudariya brother remember we are going to take the base form huh the what is the base form in madi it starts with huwa huh in madi it starts with a huwa that is our base form huh and now we will start in mudariya the base form okay but let us conjugate couple of them inshallah we start with nasara today what are we starting with nasara, nasara. ready he helped nasara nasara nasaru nasarat nasarata nasarna nasarta nasartuma nasartum nasarti nasartuma nasartunna nasartu nasarna got the idea okay huwa nasara hiya nasarat ana nasartu anta nasarta anti nasarti nahnu nasarna hum nasaru hunna nasarna antum nasartum antunna nasartunna mashallah now we again do zahaba also today because zahaba is what will come in the lesson in the beginning zahaba ready zahaba zahaba zahabu zahabat zahabata zahabna zahabta zahabtuma zahabtum zahabti zahabtuma zahabtunna zahabtu zahabna mashallah ana zahabtu anta anti nahnu huwa zahaba huwa zahaba hiya zahaba hum hunna nahnu antum mashallah see can you feel you are comfortable now then one when we started so practice will make us perfect inshallah okay Now remember, brothers and sisters, Nasara, the base form. He helped. 
Are you with me? Always huwa. And now because we are strong in our pronouns and we can say in sequence, we'll do everything in sequence. Nasara. What is na? Fa kalima. What is sa? Ain kalima. And ra? Lam kalima. Or first radical, second radical, third radical. Now, I am separating them. When you make it into mudarya, this is the base form, brother. Okay. Na, sa, ra. He helped. Yan, su, ru. He helps. It will also have the future. He will help. The way the sentence will come, you will be able to make the meaning. Okay, brother, where is the fa kalima? That will remain there. Where is the ain kalima? It will remain there. And what is the, where is the lam kalima? Ra. See, that is why we have to understand fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Then, when we get into longer verbs, you know, it will become very, very easy for us. Very easy for us. Okay, brother, I can see my first radical, I can see my second radical, I can see my third radical. What is this ya? This is something new. What is this yuna? ya? We call it mudaf mudafi. What is it? Alamatu modari. What is the meaning of alamatu? Sign. Eh? What is the meaning of alamatu? Sign of modari. As soon as I say yan suru, that ya tells me that it is now fail modariya. But the fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima are there. Are you with me? They are there. Okay. Now what happened here, brothers and sisters? Okay. That fa kalima got a sukun, and it will always have sukun. What did I say? Always will have sukun. You know, fa kalima will have sukun. And then, lam kalima got a dhamma. It is always will have dhamma. Okay? Then what about ain kalima? Remember, in the base form, Remember we said the fa kalima will always have fata and the lam kalima will always have fata but the ain kalima can be like zahaba and then samia, shariba or it can be karuma, ma'uda, jamula means ain kalima can change with our three vowel signs. So the action in the verb is on Ain Kalima. The rest are all same. Same way, brothers and sisters, in Mudarya, Fa Kalima will always be Sukun, Lam Kalima will always be Dhamma. But the change will take place on Ain Kalima. Are you with me? Where will the change takes place? Ain Kalima. Do you see here? This is Sa and this is Su. Now I give you one example. Huh? Okay, more example. Daraba. Do you see Daraba? Okay. What is this? Alamatu mudariya. And then, again, I write my... What will come on da? Fa kalima? Sukun. 
What will come on Lam Kalima? Dhamma. Are you with me? What will come on Ain Kalima? Those who <laughs> you remember my my you know little joke that those who speak Arabic it is in their blood. They know. You know, from childhood they have been used to it. You know? When a child takes the first sip of uh, mother's milk, all of the knowledge of Arabic is transferred. So they know it, but for us, we will have to figure out. And as you read it, you will retain it in your mind. And if you are not sure, you will look into the dictionary. There is no other way. Do not sit down and memorize. Read it and retain in your mind. Okay, but Daraba. Yadribu. See, Ain Kalima here gets us Kasra. Are you with me? Daraba Yadribu. Okay? So here the Ain Kalima got a Dhamma. Are you with me? The Ain Kalima got a Dhamma. And here Ain Kalima got a Kasra. Huh? Okay? One more example. Fataha. He opened. Fataha. Okay. Again, I bring my Alamatu Mudarya and then what should be on first radical? Sukun. What should be on the third radical? Dhamma. What about the Ain Kalima? So, Are you with me? <coughs> Fataha, Ain Kalima got a, has a Fatah. When it went into Mudarya, it remained in Fatah. There is a nice little poetry, you know. Okay? And uh, I will give you the handout, and slowly, slowly will become strong, brothers and sisters. So from this example, from this example, you see that the Ain Kalima, when it goes into Mudarya, can have Dhamma, can have a Kasra, can have a Fata. And there are still more. There are totally six different ways the Mudarya is formed. And we are going to learn. Out of those six Four are very common, two are less frequent. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, every three-letter verb, I'm only talking about three-letter verb. Huh? Remember, one, two, and three. Three-letter verb is the most difficult. Four-letter, five-letter, six-letters, these are all halwa puris and bakhlavas. They are very easy. Very, very easy. The three-letter verbs is something that we have to pay more attention to it. So, brothers and sisters, <coughs> every three-letter verb will go into six different bar. It can go. And we have to remember that. Now, if you have that page number five in your Handout, brother and sister, book one, handout, page number five. Okay, you will see there are certain groups. The first group is please remember one thing, I will be repeating this quite a bit. So, as much as you can understand today, you understand. Uh, otherwise, every day we will go through it and you will be able to, inshallah, figure out. Huh? Are you with me? Page number five? Page number six? Sorry about that. Page number six here. Yeah. See, can you see the first column? What, do, what is on top? Huh? Bab Nasara. What is it? 
Bab Nasara. Are you with me? Now we will, inshallah, memorize this. Bab Nasara. So what is so important about Bab Nasara? Huh? The only important thing about Bab Nasara is that the verb in the Mahdi, if the Ain Kalima has a Fata, in the Mudarya, Ain Kalima gets a Dhamma. This is the pattern we will remember. Okay? If I, so remember, Nasara Yan Suru. Are you with me? You have to remember this, inshallah. Practice it. Huh? Nasara Yan Suru. Okay? Every day you will take, make two sheets, brothers and sisters. Let us do for a few days Nasara, then you come to the other bab. Even if you want to do other bhavs, it's okay. Uh, but we have to understand that. Okay, brother? So the first column is Bab Nasara. What happens in Bab Nasara, Sister Faiza? That the Ain Kalima which has got a Fata, Ain Kalima gets a Dhamma. Okay? That's, so this pattern, uh, the scholars have said, it is Bab Nasara. In English, you can say like this, brothers and sisters. What is it? A U. A stands for Fata and U stands for Dhamma. When you say A U means in the Mahdi Ain Kalima had a Fata. When it went into Mudarya, the Ain Kalima changed into Dhamma. That is A U. Huh? It's easy. Again I warn you. Huh? Do not feel uh, Depressed if you do not understand today, we are going to repeat it and you will master it, brother. Everybody masters it, okay? Bhav Nasara. Then we come to the second column. What is the second column? Bab Daraba. So, what is the speciality of Bab Daraba? That the Ain Kalima has a Fatah, but in the Mudarya, it got a kasra. So anything that fits into this will be called that it is in Bab Daraba. Are you with me? Okay. What is the third column? Bab Fataha. Anything which has a Ain Kalima Fata and remains Fata, okay, is called AA. Bab Fataha. Uh, for if I, I Bab Fataha. Okay. Here this will be A into I. And here will be A A. Got the idea? There's a nice little poetry. And uh, I will bring the page. And then I have made a little song out of it. And you will also join me in the song. It says <clears throat> Fataho Dammin. What did I say? Fataho Dammin. What is the meaning of Fataho Dammin? That on Ain Kalima, there is a Fata, and it changed into Mudarya, into Dhamma. Then it says, Fataho Kasarin. Are you with me? So when, when Ain Kalima has a Fata, it changed into Kasara. And then it says, Fatahatani. Two fatas. Madi, Ain Kalima Fata. Mudarya, Ain Kalima Fata. Are you with me? So, inshallah, we will try to remember it. Huh? Today is the first day. Don't worry. Every day we will practice a little bit. So, it goes something like this, you know. Fataho Dammin Nasarayan Suru. Fatho kasarin daraba yadribu Fatahatani Fatahatani Fataha yaftahu Then it goes on. But today only this much. Okay? Did it make sense to you? After I explained you? If I say to you, 
fatahu dammin nasarayan suru fatahu kasarin daraba yadribu fatahatani fatahatani means there is a fatah on ain kalima in madi and fatah on ain kalima in mudhari fatah yaftahu okay but today we will only do bab nasara I explained to you because on your own, if you try, you will be able to understand and do it. Keep that page very handy, okay? Inshallah. Brothers and sisters, now we start Nasara Yansuru. Has everybody got the pages? Have you done Nasara Yansuru? Huh? Uh, you have Kataba Yaktubu? Okay, let us do Kataba Yaktubu because it is same. Okay, if I tell you kataba, if I say kataba is bab nasara, what is it? Kataba is bab nasara. So what does it mean? Nasara yansuru, kataba yaktubu. It will follow the same pattern. So you will go by the bab now. Huh? Okay, if I say dakhala is bab nasara. If I say dakhala is bab nasara, so what will happen? Yad khulu. Got the idea? This is how it is. If I say to you that katala, which is not a nice word, but for the sake of practice, if we say, I say katala is your bab nasara, so what will happen? Katala yaktulu. Huh? Yaktulu. Okay? So because you have a sheet of kataba, we will do kataba, brothers and sisters. Yaktubu. Are you with me? What is ya? Alamatu mudariya. What is ya? Alamatu mudariya. Huh? And then, uh, yaktubu. Fa kalima gata sukun, ain kalima gata dhamma, and lam kalima gata dhamma, brother. Wherever there is a fail, there is a file. Where is the file? There is the file. Has to be mustatir. Are you with me? Has to be mustatir. MashaAllah. Now we come to Huma. Okay, brother. I'm leaving this because we know it. I'm writing here. Yak tu. Bani. Are you with me, brother? Yaktu Bani. Yaktu Bani. Tu. Huh? Yaktubu, he writes. Yaktu Bani, two of them are writing. Brothers and sisters, where is the file? Brothers, where is the file? If you say Alif, you are 100% right. If you say Alif and Noon, you are partially right and you are partially incorrect. The file is only Alif. What is this Noon doing here? Are you, it, is, it is doing something nice, but we will leave it aside for the time being. Later on, I will, I will uh, explain you. Okay? What is this Noon? Uh, because we are doing in stages, you know. You know this is the problem, Sister Mainas, that in Urdu grammar, everything is given to you, you know, right away. And they don't understand what's going on, honestly. But in, with us, we'll do everything bit by bit, stage by stage. So, Huma Yaktu Bani. So, where is the file? Alif. Okay, Alif. Noon is something else. Okay. Fine. Then home, brother and sisters. Okay. Home will be Yak Tu Buna. Now you will be able to figure out, you will become smart. Where is the file? Wow only, <laughs> not the noon. Huh? File is wow only. Okay. File is wow only. 
Huh? Wow only, mashallah. And then we come to here. I write here. Tak tubu. She writes. Brothers, okay, I asked brothers before, now I asked sisters. Where is the file? Yaktubu. Taktubu. Don't say ta. No, that is the alamatu mudahariya. What is this ta? Huh? What is this ta, brothers and sisters? Alamatu mudahariya. This is also alamatu mudahariya. This is also alamatu mudahariya. Are you with me? So where is the file then? Mostatir. Where is the file? Mostatir. Got that? Got the idea? Now two of the ladies. I will say, Tak tu bani. Okay, Tak tu bani. Fine. Two of the ladies. Huh? Where is the file? Alif. Where is the file? Alif. Huh? And noon is something else. Now we come to our favorite, Hunna. And I'm, you see, I'm writing them separately. Uh, are you with me? I will write down here. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, Yak Tubna. What is it? Yak Tubna. Where is the file, Sister Arifa? Hunna yak tubna. Where is the file? Noon. Noonu nisva. Are you with me? Noon is the file. Now remember, brothers and sisters, in this, the noon is not the file. Uh, in this, alif was file. Wa was file. Alif was file. Uh, not the noon, but in noonu nisva, in hunna, noonu nisva is the file. Are you with me, Sister Fatima? Only in Hunna, Nunu Niswa is your file. Okay? Okay, I will find the board little small. I will have to, what shall I do? Write it again. Uh, Give me two minutes, brothers and sisters. Who uh, Maybe I should write down first this here. Hum. Here. Huma. And Hunna. And then Anta. Antuma. Antum. Anti. Antuma Antunna Ana and Nahm. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You have to be, you have the sheet, so everything is very clean in front of you. But if you want to write it, you can also write it. Uh, inshallah, there is no problem, brothers and sisters. Huma Yak Tu Bani and Hum Yak Tu Buna. Okay, and then here Tak Tu Bu and then Huma. Tak tu bani and then hunna yak tu buna and then I come to anta tak 
tubuh This is your alamatu mudariya This is your alamatu mudariya Brothers and sisters Ha the okay I can Hum yes Hum yatubu Thank you sister Mainas mashallah Brothers and sisters, look at it carefully. Huh? So you have Alamatu Mudaira everywhere. Huh? Even this ta, ya, ya, ya is all Alamatu Mudaira. Okay. What happens, brothers and sisters, this, the common error takes place. When you come to here, it is Taktubu. When you say Huma, two ladies, it is Taktubani. When you come to Hunna, the common practice is Taktubna, because it started with Hiyata, but no, brother. When you come to Hunna, it is again Yaktubna. You have to remember this. It's a common thing that people make mistake here. I did mistakes too, brother. So it's very common. But we will have to remember when it is Hunna, it is not Taktubna, it's Yaktubna. Because we will see why later on. When it comes to anta, it is taktubu. So here taktubu and anta taktubu. They are both same. Okay? Now you might say this is confusing. But when you will see the sentence, you will understand. Huh? Whether it refers to a monas or it refers to the one who is in front of you. You will understand, inshallah. But when you come to uh, anta, then it is always taktabu. Okay? Everything. Maybe I should make a circle here for you to understand. Okay? Now we are doing anta. Taktubu and antuma. Taktubani. Are you with me? And then antum. Tak tu buna. Are you with me? And then when you come to anti, it becomes tak tu bina. Now what is it? Tak tu bina. Now remember, today is the first day. Don't get gabrified. When you will write and you will practice within two days, you will master it. Okay, fine. And then again, Antuma Tak Tu Bani. And then Antunna, and now I am writing here Tak Tubna. Now you see why at the Hunna we had to do Yak Tubna? Because when it is Antunna, it became Tak Tubna. Okay? So when you say, Brother Hassan, Hunna, you said, Yaktubna. Antunna, you said, Taktubna. See, Ya and Ta. Okay? So when it is Yaktubna, it means Hunna. When it is Taktubna, it means Antunna. Huh? The file is Noon. Hmm? Okay, brother and sister. How many, do you see, I have separated them. Uh, and you will later on realize that this will make your understanding so strong, inshallah, that you will love it. Okay? We have Taktubani, we have starting from there, whether I start from here, Yaktubani, where is the file? Where is the file? Alif. Yaktubuna, where is the file? Wow. Again, Taktubani, where is the file? Alif. Then again I come to Taktubani, where is the file? Alif. Then I come to Taktabuna, where is the file? Oh. Now I say Taktubina, where is the file? Yeah. Where is the file? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then Taktubani, where is the file? 
Aleph. Are you with me? How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Out of 7, 3 are same. Remember here? Taktubani, Taktubani, Taktubani. They are same. Huh? So the sentence will tell us what they are. Okay? You should not worry. But if you do it in sequence, you will see that it is very easy. If you don't do in sequence, brother, it becomes very difficult. Brother. Now, what is left now, brother? Ana and Nahnu. No, I'm writing Ana. Aktubu. And then I write down Nahnu. Naktubu. So, brothers and sisters, where is the file in Naktubu? Most people say, ah, no, brother, no. Where is the file in Naktubu? They say, noon. No, no, no. What are they? Alamatu mudariya. What are they, brother? Alamatu mudariya. Sign of mudariya. How many signs of mudariya are there, brother? Ya, ta, a, Aleph and Nu. These are the sign of Mudarya. Ya, Ta, These are your sign of Mudarya. They are not your file. Okay, brother, I put them in separate group. I have my own way of, uh, you know, explanation. Inshallah, you will find it humorous also, and you will find it interesting also. Do you see we have 14s now, 14 forms? Huh? Okay. First group is five. What are they? Yaktubu, Taktubu, Taktubu. Aktubu and Naktubu. Are you with me? Sister Faiza? Huwa, Yaktubu, Hiya, Taktubu, Anta, Taktubu, Ana, Aktubu, Nahnu, Naktubu. What are they, brothers? There are five. I call them five in your pocket. What I call them? Five in your pocket. You take any verb and at least you will be able to do five of them like this. Take any verb, any verb, small or big, you will be able to do it five immediately. If I say to you, Daraba, Yadribu, five in your pocket, what will you say? Yadribu, Tadribu, Tadribu, Adribu, Nadribu. Without any difficulty, are you with me? If I say, Zahaba, Yadhabu. Okay, five in your pocket. Yadhabu, Tazhabu, Tazhabu, Adhabu, Nazhabu. Come on, give me a break. Isn't it easy? Now, why this is five in your pocket? I made a group, brother. It's easy. Because in this five, brothers and sisters, the file is always... Mostate. Huh? Makes it easy now. File is Mostate. Now, again, just like in Madi, you know, when we say Zahaba, file Mostate, but there is a possibility the file can be in the sentence. And when you say he a Zahabat, and you say file is Mostate, but file is possible in the sentence. Similarly, Yaktubu, Taktubu, Hiya, Hum, Hua, and Hiya. File may be in the sentence, otherwise they are mustate. But in anta, ana, and nahnu, file is always, always, always mustate. Always mustate. Okay. Now I I give you another word. Dakhala yadukhulu. What is it? Dakhala yadukhulu. Okay, brother. Yadukhulu, tadukhulu, tadukhulu, adukhulu, nadukhulu, brother. 
Sajada yas judu. Yas judu, tas judu, tas judu, as judu, nas judu. Isn't it easy, brother? Huh? Now take any verb, brother. Now I give you different verb. Huh? Different, brother. Shariba yasharabu. We haven't done it, we'll do it tomorrow, but once you say yasharabu, yasharabu, tasharabu, tasharabu, asharabu, nasharabu. Ta, ta comes twice. So later on in the end of book uh, two, Dr. Saib, Dr. Abdurrahim mentions it as a four. But I say it is five. Because four, because ta comes twice. And I say they are five, and I say they are in your pocket. Okay? Jai Bukha. Jai MashaAllah. Fine. Uh, are you with me? Now, this is your first group. And what is your second group? What shall we call it? There is a technical name for it. Huh? It is called Afalul Khamsa. What is it called? Five special verbs. Huh? We are not going to do now. We are not going to do Sister Nasreen. We will do uh, in the middle of the book. Huh? Huh? Five special verbs. Huh? But the people have gone advanced in the course and they don't know what are those five special verbs. Okay? What is so special about it? I have given them a very nice name. Huh? Very nice name I have given them. Brother, you know, where is the file in this? Alif, wow, alif, wow, yeah. These are your file. And what is this noon doing? Noon is our guest. Who is it? What do, what do the guests do? They come and go. They come and then go. So I have given this group a name. What is the name? Noon aata hai, noon jata hai. <laughs> Do you follow me, brother? Noon aata hai, noon jata hai. And you know, later on when we figure out when does the noon come and when does the noon go, we are going to learn that. It was very funny, you know. I, tr I tried to explain this in a funny way. Noon aata hai. What is this group, brothers and sisters? Noon aata hai, noon jata hai. So we had a sister Rashida from Nigeria. Now she doesn't know a single word of Urdu, you know. But because she was in the course, and I said, "What group is this?" She will be the first person to say, "Noon aata hai, noon jata hai." <laughs> okay. So we will remember that. Huh? Now the third group. Yaktubna, huh? taktubna. Two. Huh? These are mabni. They will never change. Huh? They will never change. Mabni. So that is a different group. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No, you have the sheet. You have the sheet. So everything is very clear to you. Okay, now I tell you one thing. If you will ask me, this is mabni, it is fixed. Then what about these? Are they fixed? No. They can change. They can change. Okay. So, we have to understand one more thing. Fial Madi, brothers and sisters, you know, Kataba, Kataba, Katabu, Katabat, Katabata, Katabna, Katapta, Kataptuma, Kataptum, Katapti, Kataptuma, Kataptunna, Kataptu, Katabna. They are Mabni. Fial Madi will never change. It will be, it will remain same. If it is Kataba, it will remain Kataba. If it is Kataba, Katabu, it will remain same. So Fial Madi is Mabni. When you say Mabni means fixed. What about Fial Mudarya? No, 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 no. Fial Mudarya is not Mabni. Huh? It changes. Are you with me? It changes. How do the grammar, uh, uh, scholars of grammar from the West define this, brothers and sisters? They say the nouns in Arabic declines. They have 
three cases. The mudarya also has three cases. Are you with me? But they don't say cases. They say mudarya has three moods. But a moody hai. Huh? It has three moods. Okay. We are going to learn slowly, slowly. Today, we are not going to go in detail. Today, we will do the base thing. What is the fundamental thing in mudarya? It is this. This is the way we conjugate. Then we will learn about the moods of mudarya. Huh? Brothers and sisters. But again, you know, remember, we will go according to the three columns. And you will see your understanding gets stronger and stronger with this division of fail mudarya. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, if I write another word, verb, if I write another word, brothers and sisters, you, will you try, inshallah? Okay. So, let us do with uh, dakhala. Huh? Okay. Let us do with dakhala. How will you start with now, brothers and sisters? Dakhala yad khulu. We are only doing bab nasara today. And then tomorrow we'll do bab daraba and then we'll do bab fataha, inshallah. Dakhala, what is mudarya? Yad khulu. Okay, fine. Same 14 pronouns in, in sequence. Yad khulu. Yad khulani. Yad khuluna. And then here. Tad khulu. Tad khulani. And then hunna. Yad khulna. Are you with me? Hunna. Yad khulna. Are you with me? We do it again. Huh? Sister Fatima, look at this. You have the page also in front of you. Okay? The verb page that, that Brother uh, Muhammad just gave you. The sheet. What is Dakhala? Bab Nasara. Ready? Dakhala. Yad Khulu. Huh? Yad Khulu. Yad Khulani. Yad khuluna. And then here, Tad khulu, Tad khulani, Yad khulna. That's, that's how you do it, okay, brother and sisters? Okay. Now, let us do Nasara. Huh? Okay, brother and sisters? Let us do Nasara. Nasara, Yansuru. Yansurani, Yansuruna, Hiya, Tansuru, then Tansurani, and Hunna, Yansurna. Got the idea? Yansurna. Huh? Did you say Tansurna? It is common to say Tansurna, but Hunna, Yansurna. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, let us say Talaba, he sought. Huh? Talaba, Yatlubu. What is it? Yatulubu. Okay. Yatulubu. Yatulubani. Yatulubuna. Hiya. Tatulubu. Then Tatulubani. And then Hunna. Yatulubna. Yatulubna. Okay. Very good, brother. Fine. The, okay. Nice word, brother. Darasa is Bab Nasara. Darasa is Bab Nasara. So darasa yad rusu. Are you with me? Yad rusu, yad rusani, yad rusuna, hiya, tad rusu, tad rusani, hunna, yad rusna. Are you with me? Yad rusna. Okay. I want you to make, make a note of one thing that hunna and antunna the file is noon, 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 ishwa. And what happened to the Lam Kalima? Yad Rusna. It got a sukun, just like Mahdi. So there is a reason, and I will explain you in detail again, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Shakara. Shakara is also Bab Nasara. Shakara, Yashkuru. Yashkurani, 
Yashkuruna Tashkuru Tashkurani Yashkurna Brother, if I say to you Nasara Yansuru Yansuru, five in your pocket Yansuru Tansuru Tansuru, Ansuru Nansuru Are you with me, brother and sister? Now I tell you one thing The Talaba Yatulubu Five in your pocket Yatulubu Tatulubu, Tatulubu, Atulubu, Natulubu. Huh? If I say Darasa Yadrusu, five in your pocket. Yadrusu, Tadrusu, Tadrusu, Adrusu, Nadrusu. Huh? Now I say Shakara Yashkuru, five in your pocket. Yashkuru, Tashkuru, Tashkuru, Ashkuru, Nashkuru. Now tell me, brother, isn't this fun? Learning Arabic is a fun, brother. Huh? You will enjoy it, inshallah. Huh? Okay, now we do again. Huh? Brother and sister, let us start with Dakhala. Dakhala, Yadukhulu. Ready? Yadukhulu, Yadukhulani, Yadukhuluna, Hiya, Tadukhulu, Tadukhulani, Hunna, Yadukhulna. Now we come to Anta. Ready? Anta, Tadukhulu, Tadkhulani, Tadkhuluna, Anti, Tadkhulina. Tadkhulina, because there's a ya there. Are you with me? Anti, Tadkhulina. Huh? And then Tadkhulani, and Antunna, Tadkhulna. Antunna, Tadkhulna. And then Ana, Nahnu, Adkhulu, Nadkhulu. See how easy it is, inshallah. Ready? We do Bab uh, Nasara now. Ready? From the beginning. Nasara Yansuru. Yansuru, ran, Yansuru, Yansurani, Yansuruna, Hiya, Tansuru, Tansurani, Hunna, Yansurna, Anta, Tansuru, Tansurani, Tansuruna, Anti, Tansurina, Anti, Tansurina, then Tansurani, Antunna, Tansurna, Ana, Ansuru, Nahnu, Nansuru. Are you with me, brother? Okay, now let us do one more <coughs> thing. Let us do a couple of more, inshallah. Darasa Yadrusu, ready? Yadrusu, Yadrusani, Yadrusuna, Hiya, Tadrusu, Tadrusani, Hunna, Yadrusna, Anta, Tadrusu, Tadrusani, Tadrusuna, Anti, Tadrusina, Anti, Tadrusina, and then Tadrusani, Antunna, Tadrusna, Ana, Adrusu, Nahnu, Nadrusu. Inshallah. Do a couple of more, brothers and sisters. Halaka. Huh? Halaka. Ready? Halaka is Bab Nasara. So you will say Halaka Yakhluku. Huh? Okay? Five in your pocket. Yakhluku, Takhluku, Takhluku, Akhluku, Nakhluku. Huh? Inshallah. Then now you say the whole thing. Yakhluku, Yakhlukani, Yakhlukuna, Takhluku. Takhlukani Yakhlukna Yakhlukna Anta Takhluku Takhlukani Takhlukuna Anti Takhlukina Takhlukani Antunna Takhlukna Ana Akhluku Nahnu Nakhluku MashaAllah Very good brother and sister Abada Ya Abudu If you say Abada you will say Bab Nasara Abada Ya Budu, ready? Ya Budu, Ya Budani, Ya Buduna, Hiya, Ta Budu, Ta Budani, Hunna, Ya Budena, Ya Budena, Anta, Ta Budu, Ta Budani, Ta Buduna, Anti, Ta Budina, Ta Budani, Antunna, Ta Budena, Ana, Ta Budu, Nahnu, Na'budu. Okay. Now you see, 
not only you are conjugating, but you are also very conscious of where the file is. Okay? So remember, five in your pocket, file is mustatir. Okay? And then we have the second group. What is that? What do we call second group? Brother Hassan, what do we call it? Noon aata hai or noon jata hai. Okay? That is our group. Okay? And what is the third group? Mabni. They are fixed. Inshallah. This way, little fun here. Okay? Uh, and then we understand it, inshallah, in a most beautiful way, brother. Our favorite verb that we did in book one, Kharaja. Kharaja is also Bab Nasara. Kharaja, Yakhruju. Ready? Yakhruju, Yakhrujani, Yakhrujuna, Hiya, Takhruju, Takhrujani, Hunna, Yakhrujna, Hunna, Yakhrujna, Anta, Takhruju, Takhrujani, Takhrujuna anti, takhrujina, takhrujani, antunna, takhrujina, ana, akhruju, nahnu, nakhruju, inshallah. But the idea, brothers and sisters, please practice at home. The only way you can really master it and become expert is by writing. You have been given the sheets, now you have to do both Madi and Muradiya. Then when we are in lesson number 10, hopefully before we break for Eid the holidays, we will try to do Amar also. Fail Amar, huh? inshallah. We will have to figure out how we make Amar, inshallah. So if you need more sheets, the, the more sheets are available. Brother, this page number 6 in which the verbs are given, you have got to do all of it. Especially Especially Bab Nasara, Bab Daraba, Bab Fataha, and Bab Samia. Huh? So Samia, okay, becomes Yasmau. There is a Kasra there, it becomes Fatah there. Huh? Inshallah. And I'll try to give you that sheet in which some scholar has made this into a poetry. Huh? That I just told you, you know, okay. Fatho dam min nasara yansuru. Fatho dam min. The fatah became dhamma. What I'm talking about is nothing but ain kalima. Ain kalima in madi, ain kalima in mudhariya. That's all this author of this little poem is saying. Okay? Fatho dam min nasara yansuru. Means the Fata in the Ain Kalima in the Madi change into Dhamma in the Mudarya. And we call it Nasara Yansuru. Fatahu Dhammin Nasara Yansuru. The second group, Fatahu Kasarin. There was a Fata in the Madi, it became Kasara in the Mudarya, which is Darabhayadribu. Okay? And then Fatahatani. Fatahatani. Fatah in Ain Kalima, in the Madi, remained Fatah on the Ain Kalima in Mudariya. So these are the Babs that I will be explaining you and doing it with you, inshallah. Today we only did Bab Nasara. It can also be called AU. A stands for Fatah, U stands for Dhamma. Madi, Fatah, Mudariya, Dhamma. Ankalima only, because the action is taking place on Ankalima. Are you with me, brother and sister? Alhamdulillah. This is enough for verbs. Huh? We have to practice at all. Okay. Now we come to lesson number three, brothers and sisters. Page 18. In this lesson, brothers and sisters, we are being introduced to comparative and superlative degree in Arabic language.
how do we do uh, comparative and superlative degree in uh, English brothers and sisters? Hmm? High, higher, highest. Okay. High, higher, highest. Okay. And then we say small, smaller, smallest. Big, bigger, biggest. Good, better and worse. When we were in school and when our teacher taught us this, then when he said good, one person said gooder, goodest. <laughs> because that is the format. <laughs> Small, smaller, smallest. Big, bigger, biggest. So good, gooder, goodest. <laughs> good, better and best. Okay. Bad, worst and worst again. Fine. Now, what about in Arabic? Huh? In Arabic, the, the superlative and comparative degree is on a pattern. And what is that pattern, brothers and sisters? What is the pattern? Huh? Af'al. Okay, this is a noun. Huh? And what do you see at the end, Brother Hassan? Dhamma. How many Dhammas do you see? One. What does it tell us? That I am a diptoad. It tells us I am a diptoad. So, if you try to decline, it will be Af'alu, Af'ala, and again of Allah. Remember this, brother. Right? So this is the pattern of, you know, our uh, ismu tafdil. What is it called? Ismu tafdil. Huh? Ismu taf. Dili. So remember, what do you see is mutaf dili? Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? Now, if I tell you, if I tell you, Kabirun, Jamilun, Tavilun Sagirun and Fakirun make ismu tafdil from there on the pattern of Afa Alu. So Kabirun will become Akbaru. Are you with me? Akbaru, Mamnu min sarf, Deptot. Jamilun will become Ajmal. Huh? And then Tawilun will become Atwalu. Got the idea? How easy it is, brothers and sisters? On a pattern. And then Sagirun will become Asgarun. Huh? And Fakirun will become Afkarun. Afkaru, same pattern. Fakirun, Afkaru. Rakhisun, Arkhas. Are you with me? It's easy. Rakhisun, Arkhas. Kasirun, Kasirun, Aksaru. It's very simple, brother. Inshallah, you will have no difficulty. Okay. Now, when you make a comparative degree, then you will always have harf jar min coming after ismu taftil. What did I say? Min will come, uh, harf jar min will come after ismu taftil, and that will tell us that it is a comparative degree. 
because you are taller from somebody taller than somebody but min here will mean then not from okay but it is coming in the dars you are going to understand it beautifully brothers and sisters now again in this lesson brothers and sisters we are learning 11 to 19 numbers second group 11 to 19 we are going to learn are you with me so that will also require little bit of understanding and we'll do it slowly that is why i think this lesson will take us two sessions inshallah <coughs> let us read it brothers and sisters tam taliban fi faslikum ya ali kum taliban fi faslikum ya ali are you with me what is taliban brothers and sisters tamiz mashallah how will you translate in your class ya ali are you with me how many students in your class ya ali what is the answer fi faslina arba'ata ashara taliban fi faslina how many words are there three fi fasli na three words okay fi harf char fasli ism majrur wa huwa mudaf and then mudaf ilayhi so they this is a jumla ismiya so we are now fi fasli na is fi fasli jar majrur shibu jumla khabar sahi good brother now we have to find mubtada there so mubtada here is going to be a little tricky i'm going to leave it for the time being and inshallah after the break i will explain you numbers inshallah okay but, but you see here brother and sister arbaata ashara what do you see here 14 look at it carefully on arbaata ashara what do you see fata 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 nothing else but fata ha huh? so it is mabni what is it mabni it will not change even if it is when it is marfu it will be mabni when it is majrur it will be mabni ha huh? so what is mabni brothers and sisters from 11 to 19 Uh, from 11 to 19 it is mabni but we are going to learn it inshallah in detail i'm going to we are going to do it after our tea break inshallah okay brothers and sisters what is ahmad's reply <coughs> ali says in our classroom there are 14 students ahmad says at-tulabu fi faslina aktharu what is aktharu kaseer kaseer no make it ismu tafdil aktharu got the idea what is it ismu tafdil ha huh? okay uh, how will you translate in our class the students are more more students there are more students in our class so brothers and sisters this you can analyze where is our mubtada at tulabu and what should be the khabar aksaru what is the khabar aksaru there are more students there are more students in our class so fi faslina will be jar majru but we won't call it shibu jumla khabar we will call aksaru as a khabar so this is your sentence tulabu aktharu are you with me tulabu aktharu fi faslina ha tulabu fi faslina aktharu fihi okay brother what is fihi jar majru shibu jumla khabar where is our mubtada our mubtada is tisata ashara and what is taliban tamiz so from 11 to 99 ha the ma'dud the thing counted will be tamiz are you with me tamiz
Are you with me, brother and sister? What did I say? From 11 to 99, it will be always tamiz. Tamiz. Huh? What will be tamiz? Ma'adud. Ma'adud is tamiz. From 11 to 99. Huh? And it will always be singular huh? and indefinite. It will be singular, it will be indefinite, and it will be mansub. Are you with me, Sister Sumaya? From 11 to 99, you will always see a noun which is mansub. It is indefinite, it is singular. Hmm? And that is your tamiz. Again, I tell you one more thing. From 11 to 99, the madud is called tamiz. From 11 to 99, the madud uh, is called tamiz because it is mansub. Uh, it is called mansub. Are you all listening to me? The tamiz is always mansub. Okay? And then, brothers and sisters, from 3 to 10, the madud is mudafili, majroor. So it is majroor. And from 11 to 99, it is mansub. Are you with me? And then from 3 to 10, it is majroor. Are you with me? Tolabin. Okay? So from 11 to 99, we call it tamiz. Padasan? From 11 to 99, the noun which is mansub, which is madud, is called tamiz. Then what shall we call 3 to 10? But tamiz. <laughs> the idea? <laughs> this was a joke told to me by Dr. Abdurrahim himself. <laughs> From 3 to 10, it should have been mansub. Huh? But it became majroor. Why did it become majroor? Because it is but tamiz. <laughs> if you say 14 books, it will be arbaata ashara kitaban. If you say 14 pens, you will say arbaata ashara kalaman. If you say 14 houses, you will say arbaata ashara baitan. Huh? If you say 14 boys, you will say arbaata Ashara waladan. Are you with me? Waladan. Okay. So that waladan, kitaban, kalaman, baitan, that is your mansu and it is tamiz. Okay. Ya Ali, masmur talibil jadid alladhi jaa amsi. Jaa is a verb, brother. He came. Huh? He came. Okay, how will you translate? No, only translation is needed. Uh, brother Abdul Samad, translate. Masmud Talib al What is the name of the new student who came from Amsi? Yesterday. Who came yesterday? Amsi is yesterday. Are you with me? So, so you, see, you can translate it. What is the name of the uh, new student, Talib al uh, uh, who came yesterday? Fine. What is the answer? Ismuhu Usama. His name is. Now we can. Ismuhu is two words. Mudaf Mudafili, Mubtada, Mudaf Mudafili. And where is the Khabar? Usama. Very good. Huwa Tawilun Jiddan. How will you translate, Brother Hassan? He is very tall. Huwa. Muftada, Tawilun, Khabar, what is Jiddan? Mafulun, Mutlaq. Okay? Tawilun. If the naat comes, it has to be Marfu. This is Mansub. Now, we are going to learn in Book 3 all these things, but let us get used to pinpointing Mafulun, Mutlaq, inshallah. Allah Isa Kazalika. What is the meaning of it? Isn't that so? 
Isn't that so? Alaysa kazalika. Isn't that so? Bala. We are going to learn about this also. You see, before we used to say Naam and La. Now we are going to say Bala also. Okay. When there is a question in negation, what did I say? When the question in negation is asked, and if the answer is in affirmation, then you say Bala. It will be explained in the book, inshallah. But when you hear the negation in the question, huh? isn't that so? Then you say, Bala, of course. You know, Bala. Okay? But only when the answer is in affirmation. Okay? Huwa tabilun jiddan. What is it, brothers and sisters? Huwa tawilun jiddan. He is, of course, very tall. But now we come to, Walakinna. What is lakinna? Min akhwatu inna. So lakinna will have its ism mansub and its khabar marfu. Huh? Lakinna hamidan. What is it? Lakinna hamidan. So what is hamidan? Why is it mansub, brother? Ismu lakinna. See, didn't we say in the beginning of our course that if there is a marfu or mansub or majroob, there has to be a reason for it. So what is the reason for hamidun becoming hamidan? Because it is coming as a ismu lakinna. Lakinna is min akhwatu inna. Fine, brother and sister. Lakinna hamidan. Where is the khabar of lakinna? Atwalu. Atwalu again. Okay. One word. Khabar. Atwalu. Minhu. What is minhu? We are expert in minhu. Jar majru. Khalas. Huh? Now when atwalu min came, then the atwalu became your comparative degree. Huh? Lakinna hamidan atwalu minhu. But the hamid is taller than him. Minhu here means than him. Are you with me? Minhu means than him. Atwalu minhu means taller than him. Innahu, oh ho ho, innahu, what is inna? Harfu taqid wa nasbin. And what is who? Ismo inna, now we should have a khabar inna. Where is our khabar inna? Atwalu. Okay. Now, Atwalu. Talibin. Now here it is mudafili. Now when you see the construction like atwalu talibin, then it is a superlative degree. When it was min, it was comparative degree. Now it is superlative degree. Uh, how will you translate? Uh, uh, how will you translate, Sister Arifa? Innahu atwalu talibin fi faslina. He is the tallest student. In our class. Are you with me? He is the tallest student in our class. This is Ali's class. Huh, brother and sister. Huh? Huh? Hamid is the tallest student in Ali's class. What about? Then he's asking. Translate brother. Who is the tallest student? See, Atwalu Talibin, superlative degree now. Huh? Who is the tallest student in your class? What is Ahmad saying? Atwalu Talibin fi faslina Ibrahim. So Atwalu Talibin, the tallest student. Where is Mubtada? Brother, where is Mubtada? Atwalu. Huh? Atwalu is Muftada. Wa huwa Mudaf. And then Mudaf ilahi. And then brother and sister, do you see any other noun which is Marfu? Ibrahimu is your khabar. And what is this? Fi Faslina. How many words are there? Three. So this is Jar Majur Mudaf Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me brother and sisters? Then Ali is saying, 
adaftaruka hada ya ahmadu is this your notebook o ahmad ali is saying to ahmad is this your notebook o ahmad then he says, Inna khattaka. Inna khattaka. So here comes Inna. What is khattaka? Two words. Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. So where is the ismu Inna? Khatta. Wahuwa mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Inna khattaka. Jamilun jiddan. Your handwriting is very beautiful. Inna khattaka. Jamilun, what is Jamilun? Khabar inna, brother. Khabar inna. Inna khattaka Jamilun. Jiddan. So Jamilun is the Khabar inna. Are you with me, brothers? When the inna comes, or akhwatu inna comes, or laisa comes, we got to find out Khabar also. Inna khattaka Jamilun Jiddan. MashaAllah, as Allah wills it, you know. Ahmad is replying, Shukran, Shukran, Mafulun Mutlaq. <laughs> Shukran, Mafulun Mutlaq. Huh? Okay, we are going to learn later. Ya Ali, Khatti Jamilun. My handwriting is beautiful. Khatti, how many words? Two words. Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Khatti Jamilun. My handwriting is good. Wahatuka and your handwriting. What is your handwriting? Ajmalu. More beautiful. Are you with me? Your handwriting is more beautiful. So Ajmalu, now you understand. Ajmalu is a ismutafteel. Huh? More beautiful. So brothers and sisters, Khatuka. How many words are there? Mudaf mudaf ilahi. So where is the word muftida? Khattu. Khattu. Wa huwa mudaf and ka mudaf ilahi. Khattu muftida. What is khattu ka? Khattu muftida. Wa huwa mudaf. Ka mudaf ilahi. And ajmalu is your khabar. Are you with me? Ajmalu is your khabar. Brothers and sisters, Al-Ana, Nahnu Nashrabu Shai. We'll drink the tea, inshallah. Okay? Okay. Brothers and sisters, we are back, inshallah. Study the numbers from 11 to 19. Again, from 11 to 19, brothers and sisters, we have two groups. What is it, brother? Two groups. As in our number one and two, you know, we had two groups. In one and two, the numbers came as a knot, remember? Similarly, we have here two groups. But it is nothing to do with naat now. It's something to do with, you know, the number. From 11 to 19, the number comes in a compound. What did I say, brothers and sisters? The number comes in a compound. When you say compound, means there are two words. Compound means two words. Uh, not one word, but murakab. We say in Arabic, murakab, uh, made out of more than one word. Look at it, brothers and sisters. Maybe I should come on this side. This is your, what is it, brother? This is your number, al-adadu. Uh, and what is this, brother and sister? Al Madud. Al Madud. Huh? Al Adad and Madud. Remember that. What is the meaning of Madud? Thing counted and number. See. Right. 
So from 11 to 99, the madud is mansub. And we call it tamiz. Sahih? Fine. Look at the compound in 11 and 12. Okay. Two things you have to note. Number one thing is that if the madud is muzakkar, everything is muzakkar. Can you see here? Ahada, ashara, it's all muzakkar. Uh, in 11, in two, 11 and 12, uh, the madud is muzakkar, the whole murakkab is muzakkar. Can you see? Ithna, ashara, same way. Okay. What is the other thing you observe? That it has got all fata. So it is mabni. Uh, if I wrote like this, right now it is marfu. But I don't see the sign of dhamma there. Why? Because it is mabni. Uh, even if I put here harf fi. Or even I put min. Huh? Ahada ashara will not change. Are you with me? Ahada ashara will not change. But I will call it majroor because there is a harf jar there. But I will not change the signs, vowels. It will remain same. In other words, from 11 to 19, huh? The adad is all mansub. They are al fata. But it is mabni. Are you with me? It is mabni. Fine. One more time. Madud is mudakkar. The whole murakkab is two words are mudakkar. Fine. Now when you start with 13, then changes take place. What changes do you see, brothers and sisters? Remember one thing, that this is a muraka. It consists of, it consists, consists of two words. Uh, two parts. Remember? Part number one, part number two. Here also part one, part two, part one, part two. Okay? But in eleven, both part 1 and part 2 are muzakkar. Uh, this is, there is no monas there. It, they are muzakkar. Okay? What will be the monas look like? It will look like This is the monas. Huh? And it will look like this. This is your monas. Okay. See now here, it is all muzakkar. Sahi? But when you came to 13, uh, Brother Hassan, there is a change there. Remember, the number has got two parts. Huh? And this is ma'adud. What do you see? That part number two matches the ma'adud. It's muzakkar, muzakkar. But the part number one went opposite way. It became muhannas. Are you with me? That is the change that took place. So in other words, Sister Sumaya, Part 2 matches the madud, and then part 1 goes opposite the madud. Is it muzakkar? So the part 1 became opposite, became oneness. Huh? But the part 2 remains same as madud. That is it, brother. Hmm? So from 13 to 19, we will have the same sequence. Are you with me? 
Now, it is not mudaf mudaf ilihi. It is a murakkab with two parts. Okay? And they are all mabni ala fatah. They are mabni ala fatah. It will not change. Can you, you can bring harf jar. It will not change. Huh? If it is marfu, it will remain same. Briefly, I say it again. That the number has got two parts from 11 to 19. In number 11 and 12, the both parts match the ma'adud. They are both matching the ma'adud. Remember? Let me write down here something else, brother. You see Talibatan, no, that is your Madud. Mu'annas, everything 11 to 12 remains same. Ehda huh? asharata Talibatan, everything is Mu'annas. Here, everything is Muzakkar. Got the idea? Everything is Muzakkar. Huh? Taliban, it matches. Huh? Come to number 13, we have changes. Part number 2 matches, part number 1 goes opposite. Muzakkar, it became Mu'annas. Muzakkar, it became Mu'annas. Part number 2 of the number matches Muzakkar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So if you go to page number 23, brothers and sisters, in the book, are you on page number 23? Huh? Number 8, read together. We will read together. Ahada ashara taliban. Ifna ashara taliban. Then sata ashara taliban. Arbaata ashara taliban. Khamsata ashara taliban. Sittata ashara taliban. Sabaata ashara taliban. Thamaniyata ashara taliban. Tisata ashara taliban. And then ishruna taliban. Okay. Look at ishruna. Do you think? Do you think you see some similarity in this noun and in Muslimuna? <laughs> Mominuna, Mudarrisuna, Muhandisuna. What do you see? It is on the pattern of Jama Muzakkar Salim. Una. So, Ishruna. So, it is on that pattern. Just keep that in mind. We will be uh, looking into it more in detail later on in Shana. It is on the pattern of Jama Mudakka Salim. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 19. All these things will be on the pattern of Jama Mudakka Salim. We will study it in Shana. Right now let us concentrate on this only. That the Adad has got two parts, starting from 13. Uh, the second part matches Ma'adud, and then the first part is opposite in gender. Sahi? That is why Ta Marbuta came. Now, this we have to remember and memorize. These are the specialties uh, of Arabic numbers. You know, In every language, there is a specialty. You know. So we will, inshallah, remember it. Now remember other thing that it is mabni. Uh, we will decide. Uh, we will decide whether it is marfu or it is mansub or it is majrur. Okay. For example, I give you zahaba salatata ashara taliban al masjidi. What did I say? Zahaba. Salasata ashara taliban ilal masjidi. How will you translate? 
13 students went to the masjid. I said to you, Zahaba Hamidun ilal masjid. Hamid became five. Marfu. When I say Zahaba Salasata Ashara Taliban, so what will you say now? Huh? Huh? Zahaba is your verb. Where is your file? Salasata Ashara. But it is not marfu. Because it is mabni. But it is our file. Because we understand it. And Taliban will always remain tamiz. What will Taliban remain? That will remain tamiz. Are you with me? Inshallah. So now we go back. Brothers and sisters. If I say to you, Fi Faslina Arabata Ashara Taliban, Fi Fasli Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar, Na Mudakilahi, where is our Mubtada? Arabata Ashara. Huh? Are you with me? Arabata Ashara. Mubtada has to be Marfu. This is Mansu. Because it is Mabni. Are you with me? This is how you will uh, analyze it, brother. And Taliban is your tummies, you know. Fihi tisata achara Taliban. So fihi dharma shibu jumla khabar. Where is your mutta? Tisata achara. Together. The whole compound. Tisata achara is your mutta. And Taliban is your tummies. Huh? Inshallah. Fine, brothers and sisters. You remember this. Huh? Now we get where we left before. Ali says, who is this young fellow who is with you? Ka'annahu akhuka. Looks like he's your brother. Between these two, nothing can come. If there is a naat, it has to come outside the mudaf mudafili. So, al-jadidu is a naat for baytu. Now, if I say, Look at it, brothers and sisters. It is Baitu because of Ya Mutakallam, it will change into Baiti. But it is actually Baitu. Remember? Huh? So if there is a Naat for Baitu, it will come outside and it will be Al Jadidu. So, so then the sentence is Huwa. Huh? <coughs> okay, and then. And then, actually it is huwa akhu. Huh? But because of ya mutakallam, it became asra, huwa akhi. So this is your khabar, sahi, Muptada and khabar, huwa mudaf, and then mudafili. But then ash So this shakiku is the naat for akhu. What is the meaning of shakiku? My full brother, my blood brother. You know, there can be a step brother and one is a full brother. Are you with me? My blood brother. From same mother, huh? a shakik. So what is it? Shakiku is a naat. Did you get it, brothers and sisters? And you can see if you how you got it? Akhi, which is actually Akhu, so the Naat came as a Marfu. Huh? Huh? Okay? Naat must follow Manut, inshallah. Okay. Akbaru minka huwa am askaru. See here, A came and am came. No, we don't know whether it is Akbar or Asgar. So the Akbar has to come. In the beginning, and askar has to come in the end. So see, akbaru minka huwa. You cannot say ahuwa akbaru minka. No, that will be wrong. Akbaru, we did, we studied this, huh? this concept we studied. Akbaru minka huwa am askaru. Huwa asgaru minni. How many words are in minni? Two. Huh? Min 
prasya mutakalam. But when you are using in a comparative degree, then the, the translation of men is than instead of from. Are you with me? The translation is than. Okay? Okay? If you are, you, are you with me, Sister Nasri? You follow? Min means from. But when you are in using it as a comparative degree, then it becomes than. Huh? T H A N. Huh? T H A N. Than. <coughs> now, brothers and sisters, how will you translate? Translate. minni. He is younger than me. See? Younger than me. Younger than me. So, huwa muftada, where is our khabar? Asgar. Huh? And minni, char majru. Sahi? Minni is char majru. See, because we worked hard at our pronouns, it's very easy for us to figure it out, inshallah. Fi, then ayyi came. Ayyu became ayyi because of fi, fi ayyi. Mahjain. Mahjain. Anta yaakhi. How will you translate? In which hostel, you know, dormitory or hostel you are in? Brothers and sisters? Ana Muftada Fil Mahjail Khamisi. Jal Majroor. And what is Al Khamisi? Nath. I am in the fifth hostel. Fine. Who are Baidun? It is far. Jiddan, it is very far. Anil Jamiati from the Jamia. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It is very far from the Jamia. Who are Muktada Baidun? Khabar Jiddan, you know, Mafulun Mutla. Anil Jamiati Jar Majroor. An is a Harf Jar, brother. What does Ali says? Ali says, Ana fil mahjaith thamini. I am in the eighth hostel. Wa huwa abadu. And it is farther away min mahjaikum than your hostel. Means he is even further away from Jamia. Are you with me? Huwa abadu. See, ba'idun became abadu. And min came to show us that it is comparative degree. Okay? Ayyuhuma ahsanu. Hasanun. Make it a smooth of deal. Ahsanu. Ahsanu. Dip tot. Hasanun is dip tot. Ahsanu is dip tot. Ayyuhuma. Ayyuhuma. How many words are there? Two. What is the combination? Huda huda filehi. Ayyu huma. Which one of the two is better? Ahsanu. Ali says, Al mahjaul khamifu. Ahsanu. Where is our muftida brother? Al mahjaul. What is al khamifu? Naat, mashallah. And brother, Muhammad, where is our khabar? Ahsanu. Ahsanu is your khabar. The fifth dormitory is better. Fa'inna. Because fa'inna. Again, inna came, brother. Inna. Fa is ataf. What is it? Fa is ataf. Huh? Conjunction. Inna has come. Now we will have to figure out the ismu inna. Inna gurafahu. What is gurafa? It is plural of what is singular of gurafa? Gurfatun. Huh? Gurfatun, gurafun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Gurfatun. What is the jama? Jama is gurafun. This is your jama. Put inna there. Inna gurafa. Okay? Now, who comes? Mudafilehi. Huh? 
uh, we are talking about the hostel that its rooms are fa inna gurafahu truly uh, its rooms are awsa'u wasiyun spacious also more spacious what is it more spacious wa nawafizahu what is nawafiza nafizatun nawafizahu akbaru and its windows are bigger wa marahidahu mirhadun jama is marahidu what pattern is this brother marahidu mafatihu ha manadi mafailu mashallah 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 mafailu remember these patterns are important to keep it in our mind brother marahidahu maradhidahu anzafu nadifun anzafu more clean was sururul lati and the beds which are in it what are they ajmalu they are more beautiful mashallah bas brother now let us look at it little more carefully inna where is this mo inna gurafa gurafa wa huwa mudaf and hu mudafili where is the khabar inna awsau wa nawafiza what is nawafiza mawtufun ala gurafa got the idea sister faisa mawtufun ala means it is linked with gurafa why nawafiza is mansub because it is linked with gurafa and gurafa is mansub because of inna okay from marahida again mawtufun ala gurafa wa surura wa surura ha wa surura now again it is mawtufun ala allati fihi ajmalu which are in it ajmalu they are more beautiful got the idea brothers and sisters so we have here ahsanu awsau akbaru anzafu and ajmalu how many ism ismu tafdil came this is a very beautiful lesson worth reading few times inshallah ajib anil as'ilati laatiati tam taliban fi fasli fi fasli ahmada ha what will you say you can say either say fihi or you can say fi fasli ahmada both will be correct ha tisata ashara taliban kam taliban fi fasli aliyin fi fasli aliyin arbata ashara taliban man atwalu talibin fi fasli ahmad fi fasli ahmad or you can say atwalu talibin fi fasli ahmad ibrahim you can start like that atwalu talibin fi fasli ahmad ibrahim wa man atwalu talibin fi fasli aliyin atwalu talibin fi fasli aliyin hamidun <coughs> now you have to say right or wrong this is very easy brothers and sisters ha huh? at talibul jadidul ladhi ja amsi ismuhu usama is it correct brother it is correct number 2 hamidun fi fasli ahmad hamidun fi fasli ali jin almaja'u thaminu gurafuhu awsa'u is it correct no it is almaja'u khamisu almaja'u thaminu abadu min mahjal khamisi is it correct yes. alhamdulillah these are one has to study inshallah we got four more minutes brother ikra 
על המסילת על העתידה, לי איסמי תפדי לי, אוקיי? Here is an explanation given, and now because we did it well in the class, you'll find the exercise is very simple, brother. Hashimun tawilun vahamidun atwalu minhu. Got the idea? Aminatu sagiratun vadainabu asgaru minha. Are you with me? So if some tafdeel does not change according to... If the person is Muzakara or Mohanas, it remains same. Okay? <coughs> If you have time, you can write it. Hazal kitabu ashalu min zaka, min zalika. Are you with me? Now, all these examples are for comparative degree because min is coming. Are you with me, Brother Hassan? Min is coming. How will you translate this? Hazal kitabu asalu min zalika. Then that, mashallah. See, you can translate. Now, haza muftada al kitabu badal, and there is the khabar ashalu. Got the idea? Just keep it in mind, Brother. Same format will come. Hazi sayaratu ajmalu min tilka. How will you translate Sister Naima? Hadhi sayaratu Ajmalu, more beautiful than that. Okay, fine. Okay, I will translate this myself. Or maybe I should analyze it myself. But I will uh, ask you to translate. Hamzatu akbaru minni. What is it, brother? Hamzatu Akbaru minni. Huh? Older than. Here you will say older. Hamza is older than me. Brother, look at it carefully. Huh? Brothers and sisters. Hamza tu akbaru minni. If I only say to you, Hamza tu akbaru minni, then you will say, he is bigger than you or older than you. In what way? Uh, you don't know. So you have to bring, what do you have to bring? Tamiz. You have to bring Tamiz to dispel the ambiguity. Tamiz is used to dispel ambiguity in the sentence. Uh, brothers and sisters, Hamza tu akbaru minni sinnan. Sinnan is age. He is older than me. Uh, now I am telling you something, something else. Hamzatu, akbaru minni malan. <laughs> What did I say? Akbaru minni malan. Uh, then he is bigger than me in what way? Now I'm telling you a very funny sentence. Hamzatu, akbaru minni zaujan. <laughs> What did I say? He's bigger than me in what ways? He has more wives. <laughs> are you with me? So this is the tamiz you are bringing to dispel the obscurity. If I say, Hamdatu akbaru minni, you are still waiting. In what way he is bigger than you? Are you with me? So then, <coughs> G? No, 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 no. Sinan is your tamiz. Okay, let us analyze. Ready? Hamdatu. Muftida. Where is the khabar? Akbar. Khalas. No, 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 no. That word is tamiz. Huh? That will always be tamiz. In comparative degree, when you use a noun which is mansub, it is tamiz, and you use that noun to remove any ambiguity. Aapne usko saaf kar diya. You know, so that is, that is the job of tamiz. What is the job of tamiz? To remove ambiguity. See here if I tell you, now one thing, a very simple. Ahada ashara. Eleven what? Then you have to bring tamiz to clarify it. That is why it is mansu. Are you with me now? 
If I say to you, Thalathata Ashara, 13 of what? No, I have to say Kitaban, Talaman, Baitan, whatever you want to say, Masjidan. So what is that Tamiz doing? It is removing the ambiguity. And that is why that now is Mansub and it is called Tamiz. Tu Akbaru Minni. Then you bring the Tamiz to clarify everything. Are you with me? So Hamzatu Mubtada Akbaru Khabar Minni Jar Majur Finnan Tamiz. So brothers and sisters, from 11 to 99 we will have Tamiz. Okay, we will call it Tamiz. And from 3 to 10 we will call it but Tamiz. <laughs> Because it is, it is actually Tamiz. Huh? But it's not Mansub. Tamiz is always Mansub. Now it is Majroor. Why? Because it is but Tamiz. <laughs> anyway. Okay, brothers and sisters. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatau wa fil akhirati hasanatau wa kina adhabanna. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhuriyatina qurrata ayunin wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama Allahumma a'in ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatika Rabbana takabbal minna innaka anta samiyul alim wa tubu alayna innaka anta tawabur rahim